your voice and say, Welcome, Holy Spirit. Let's invite him in the presence. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. You're the living waters, the ever flowing fountain, comforter and counselor. Take complete control.
是分泌哟，我起来哟，我我起来哟。Worship the Lord. Let me worship the Lord. Come on, let's just take a minute and give Him thanks this morning. Hallelujah! 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 Come on, Hallelujah! He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, Let me worship the Lord. 
Do you believe that he made a way this morning? Let me worship the Lord. If you know that he provides for you, let me worship the Lord. Come on, let me worship the Lord. Let's shout a hallelujah. Let's shout a hallelujah. Let's shout a hallelujah. Come on, let's shout a hallelujah. 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 We bless your name this morning, God. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Mm-hmm. We make a miracle work. Promise to light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We make a miracle work. Promise to light in the darkness. My that is who you are. Come on, lift him up, he is. We make a miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Come on, lift your voice and say he is. We make a miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Raise your hands and say he is. We make a miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Do you believe that this morning said? We make a miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We make a miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. He is a way maker. We make a miracle work.
Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for the king this morning. Come on, put your hands above your head for the king this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We now turn over to our morning's moderator. I am just, good morning everyone. I am going to ask you to remain standing as Sister Jody and Heaven will be coming with our opening prayer. Good morning, everyone. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Eternal God and Heavenly Father, Lord, we give a thanks this morning, Lord God, for your many blessings and wonderful goodness. Father, we thank you, O God, for waking us up this morning. We thank you, O God, for the gift of life. Indeed, O God, you are a giver of life, you are a giver of health, and you are a giver of strength. We give you, O God, all the glory, the honor, and the praise, O God, for carrying us, O God, throughout this week, O God. Yes, Lord, some of it is rough, O God, but we give you thanks. Father, I put this service before you, O God. Those, O God, that we're doing something, O God, from devotion, O God, to intercessory prayer, O God, to the spoken word, O God, to every item on the program, mighty God. Father, I pray, O God, that you have thine own sweet way, mighty God. Father, I pray, O God, that you will anoint us afresh, mighty God. Lead, O God, today's service, O God. Let it not be just an ordinary youth, son, the mighty God, but an extraordinary one, mighty God. Remember, O God, the choir, mighty God. Father, I pray, God, that as we sing, O oh God, let us also sing, O oh God, unto the glory, unto the honor of your name, mighty God. Let, O oh God, someone, O oh God, get healing or deliverance, O oh God, as the choir ministers, mighty God. Father, take full control, mighty God. Have thy own sweet day, divine Jesus. As we look down to our thanks, mighty God, in the whole of process, and we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so... Just a quick, quick, quick description of me. My name is Felisa Brown. Everybody might know me by now. And it's been quite a while. I see Sister Louis nodding her head. I am grateful. I am thankful. And this is to say that God restores and he is keeping. <laughs> All right. I am going to ask you to stand once again as Sister Avanik Suraj comes with our morning's devotion, followed by Sister Samora Black with a poem. Good morning, everyone. The scripture lesson is taken from Hebrews 11, reading from verse 1 to 3. Please listen while I read. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Three and ended. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Here endeth a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, that glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, now ever shall be, words without end. Amen. Please turn your hymn now to hymn 120. I heard an old, old story how the Savior came from glory. I heard an story how Savior came from glory, how he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his glory of his precious blood that's holy. Then I realized of my sin and wonderful story.
to prepare herself for her item. Make some more of that welcome, please. Good morning, everyone. My name is Samora Black, and I will be doing a poem titled, A Child is Known by His Doing. Children, listen to this bit of advice. In all your dealings, be kind and nice. As even a child is known by his doing. You see, so try to be as good as you can be. Nobody approves of a child who is bad. And it also makes your parents feel sad. People may call you a imp or even a brat. And I'm sure your parents won't like that. Children behave the best that you can be and grow into a lovable lady or gentleman. People then will say you are so kind. And you're the best friend anyone can find. Just make your work pure and make it right. And try all your best to serve God with all your might. You are known by your doings. Scripture say, so be on your best behavior each and every day. Right. Yeah. I know it's Youth Sunday. Thank you, Samora, for being such a brave girl. Because sometimes we as adults, we get a little bit nervous to come and do something. So thank you, Samora. Put your hands together for Samora once again. All right, so I know it's Youth Sunday. And as I said before, it's been quite a while. I haven't uh, been moderating. 
So I have lost my way. That's one of my testimony. I have many throughout lost in my way. I have lost my way in Christ and I have made it back. So I'm going to ask you to stand. When I was getting baptized again, I sang a song for my testimony. Because when God has his hands on you, when you're a chosen child in the kingdom, he will seek you anywhere. And I heard Chanika testifying about that the other day again. When you are chosen, he will seek you anywhere. So it doesn't matter if you fall, you bruise up, you anything. He will seek you out. Because there's a race that I must run. And a victory to be won. This is just a part of oh, my give testimony. Me power every hour. Keep it through. Oh, there's a race. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost with three shouts of hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Jesus. 
Jesus. Second, I want to acknowledge the presence of our host pastor and family, Bishop Carlos Dixon. Third, I want to well acknowledge the presence of our moderator, Sister Fell. Our wonderful praise to you. Our musicians. Our elegant youth choir. And all the children that are in our midst. And moreover, I want to take, welcome the viewers online. They are not able to be in our presence, but they are with us online. Amen. Sister Carla Garden will be coming to render her item and to minister to us. Put your hands together for Sister Carla as she makes her way here. A pleasant morning, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Come on, great morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning to be alive. Aren't you excited for that? Indeed, our God is worthy to be praised. Looks like this morning is a testimony morning because this song that I'll be singing just expresses where God has been keeping me and where I would want to be until my task here is ended. Where there was darkness, you created light. I was nothing, and you gave me light. You tested my heart, Lord. You searched it in the night. You tried me by fire just to make me right hear my cry lord and answer my cry oh i want you to keep me as the apple of the night i want you to keep me of thy night under your wings of love that's where I want to be answer my plea please don't turn your back on me oh I want you to keep me as the apple of thy night Guide my steps, Lord, keep me in thy way. I trust in your faithfulness to guide me day by day. And I will sing for you. Remind me, dear Lord, the things you've done for me. I want you to keep me as the apple of thine eye. I want you to keep me as the apple of thine eye. Created light. I am nothing, yet you 
give me life. You tested my heart, Lord. You're searching in the night. You try me by fire just to make me right. Hear my cry and answer my cry. Oh, I want you to keep me as the apple of thine eye. I want you to keep me want you to keep me as the apple of There's this song that's in my heart. I want you to keep me as the apple of thy eye. If I carry the gospel to the lost near and far, I won't stand empty-handed at God's judgment bar, but I do not relax until I've done all these. I just want one worshiper. Don't let me one more time for you have run you've run the race you have kept I don't know who this is for but you kept the faith in times when you had enough reasons to let go you have kept you kept the faith these words you long to hear the Savior say. Just bear with me, church. And when your life on earth is past, there's just one thing, Lord, we ask. Don't let us leave. Don't let us leave. Don't let us leave. Be fine and on finished time.
that if someone here today feels like giving up, that these words that you are hearing right now, it's a form of encouragement to your soul. And I hope that you'll receive it as not giving up. At this time, I'm going to ask Sister Lewis to come and do the announcement for us. Praise the Lord. Do you still have a praise for the Lord? Do you have another praise for the Lord? Hallelujah, hallelujah. What a blessing it is to be in the house of the Lord among God's great, wonderful people. Hallelujah. I thank God for you, brethren. Thank God that I am a part of this great big family. Young people, I love you. I just love you, and I just I like to see when you when you stay under the wings of God's love. I just love it. Continue to stay with the Lord. You are looking lovely, looking lovely. Stay under God's arm. Stay at His feet. Hallelujah. Praise God. Whether you are on the choir or not. Stay with God. And I am praying for you. Sometimes I call you by name. Sometimes I just pray for the young people of the Hartford New Testament church and community. Stay with God. Hallelujah. Can we give God a praise for our youth? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Some more you deserve, deserve a lift up, but you were too far from me. Very great job. So on behalf of our clerk, Sister Suraj, who is unavoidably absent this morning, she is not sick or anything, but she is just not able to be with us. All right, so I'll just pass on these few announcements. All right, so we have Sunday school immediately after church today. And, uh, you know, the men did not ask me to say anything, but I just have to say something. You know, the men started their fundraising events for rally last week Sunday. And... Uh, it was great. We had a really great time in the house, right? I don't know if they make great money, right? But I know we had a very good time. Amen? Yes. Amen. All right, so immediately after divine worship, we'll have our Sunday school today. The Froome New Testament Church of God, they will be having their evening in men in praise. They will be having their men in praise and it will be this evening at 6.30. Their theme is men praising God for their families. Adults, $200 and children, $100. Tomorrow, that's Monday, will be FLM, right? That's Family Life Ministries. I'm not sure if it will be in-house or online. All right? But as time goes by, we will hear. All right? So Tuesday at 10, we'll be fasting. Hallelujah. Right here in the sanctuary. And I'm just inviting everyone who can make a sacrifice to come to fast, and I'm inviting you to come. Amen? Amen. I'm inviting you all to come along. I know that it is really not possible for some people, but for those who are able to and can make the sacrifice, please do so. Wednesday, Bible study, 7 p.m. 
children's ministry will be held at 3 p.m. this that's next week's next week Sunday all right so parents next week Sunday the children should be out by 3 p.m. for their children mini, children's ministry For external announcement, or on the 21st, 21st, that's next week Sunday, will be the Women in Praise for Sab. Savannah Lamar, Women in Praise. Admission is $200 for adults and $100 for children. So that's the Savnalmar Women in Praise, Women in Praise. Piper's Corner Rally will be Tuesday the 23rd. That's Piper's Corner, Tuesday the 23rd of April. Starting at 6.30 and the admission also is $200 for adults and $100 for children. Sunday, I'm not quite sure of this date, if it is correct, but I'm going to look it up and get back to you on it. That's a friendship assemblies of holiness. Their rally should be on the last Sunday of April. All right? This day does not seem to be, I'm not sure if it's correct. So before I announce it, I'll get back to you on it. All right? So there we are. So we look forward to attending these rallies and choirs in praise. The Friendship Assemblies of Holiness. This church is Reverend Sonia Robinson's church. All right? And we always give them our support. So we're looking forward to support them even so. All right? Anybody celebrating a birthday, today, anniversary, or during the course of the week? Our sister Angela's grand, granddaughter and, and Amir yesterday, a be, it's baby time. And okay, all right. So we are going to make it extra special for them, all right? We are going to sing happy birthday for them all. Ready, everybody? Happy birthday. See them all over there. They too. Yes, sir. And then blushing, you know. All right. Give them a hearty, hearty, hearty celebration clap. God bless you. We wish you many more. If you have an anniversary, we say. Happy anniversary to you. If you are, have lost a loved one, we say condolence to you and your family. Our Deacon, Deacon Barrett has had an accident. During the week, you would have seen his neck in that thing there. We are glad. We are glad that God is still on the job. Hallelujah. It could have been worse. 
but we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Congratulations also to Nevino Lewis. Hallelujah. We'll be taking a trip to Kingston tomorrow for an award at the University of the West Indies. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You have to be happy for us. Put your hands together and rejoice with us, man. Blessings. Yes, he did well in the Mats Marathon this year, even better than last year. And to God be the glory. Thank you. God bless you as we bear these announcements. In. Thank you, Sister Lois. I am going to ask you to please stand once more. And Sister Stacy Cook will be coming with the intercessory prayer. And after Sister Stacy Cook, Sister Shanika Wees will be coming to render an item. Help me to worship the King of Kings this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is still the Lord of our Lord. There is none that can be compared to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, everyone. Hallelujah. We bless the name Jehovah God. We glorify you. We honor you, mighty God, for there is none that can be compared to you. You're still the one that sits high, ah, God Almighty, but you look weird on low, mighty God. You're still the one that loves us, that is Jesus, even when we are unlovable, mighty God. And so, Lord God of heaven, we come before your holy presence one more time. We ask of thee, Lord God Almighty, that you'll forgive us of our sins, Lord God Almighty. Remove all our iniquities, that is Jesus. Father God Almighty, we ask of thee, Lord God Almighty, that you'll forgive us, Lord God, of every presumptuous sins this morning. Cleanse us, Lord God Almighty, of all our infirmity, that is Jesus. For Lord God Almighty, we can surely say that if it had not been for you this morning, Lord God Almighty, we wouldn't be where we are, Lord God. And so we praise you, Lord God, for you are forgiving God. You are a loving God. You are a merciful God. And so, Lord God Almighty, we ask for mercy mercy this morning. It's nothing good that we have done. We are not good, mighty God. Even in our thoughts, Lord God Almighty, we sin, that is Jesus. And so, Lord God, we crave your mercy this morning. Father God, your word declares, Lord God Almighty, that you cannot put new wine in old back, Almighty God. And so, Lord God Almighty, we ask of thee, that is Jesus, that you will do what you alone can do this morning, Daddy God. Give us, Lord God Almighty, a renewed spirit this morning, a heart like thine, Daddy Jesus. Lord God Almighty, your word declares, Daddy God, that nothing good will you withhold from them that walk uprightly this morning, Daddy Jesus. And so, Lord God, we know, Lord God Almighty, that if we are not walking according to your will, Daddy Jesus. We cannot receive your heritage this morning, mighty God. And so, Lord God Almighty, we come, Lord God, asking, Daddy Jesus, that you will do exceedingly and abundantly more than which we could ask of thee, Lord God Almighty. Father God, we are different, Daddy God. Every one of us is different this morning. Daddy Jesus, you alone, Daddy God, know the hearts of your people this morning. And so, Lord God Almighty, I ask of thee, Daddy Jesus, that you'll intervene individually this morning, Lord God Almighty. Daddy Jesus, we need an individual touch this morning. Father God, we need you now more than ever, Daddy Jesus. Holy Spirit of the living God. 
take full control of our life. We give you all the authority this morning, Daddy Jesus. Oh God Almighty, we say, have your way in us, Daddy God, for we belong to you, Daddy Jesus. We declare it that we are not our own this morning, but we were bought with a price, Lord God Almighty. And so you are the owner of our life this morning. Jehovah God, there are many, Lord God Almighty, that is going through, Lord God Almighty, there are different circumstances, that is Jesus. And so, Lord God Almighty, your word declared that I am sharpened, I am mighty God. And so, Lord God Almighty, I pray that in Jesus, that everyone, Lord God Almighty, that come in this place this morning, that they will not return, Lord God Almighty, lower than they come this morning. But God Almighty, they will go back, Lord God, giving you thanks for this another day that you have made, that in Jesus. Father God, we give you all the praise, Daddy God. We give you the honor. We give you the glory, Lord God, for every healing this morning. Healing of the mind, the body, soul, and spirit this morning. We thank you, Daddy Jesus, for your healing this morning. We thank you for your deliverance this morning, Daddy Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your mercies, Daddy Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for your financial blessings this morning. Lord God Almighty, we thank you, Lord God, for restoring that which was broken this morning. We thank you, Lord God, for your word declares, Daddy God, that healing belongs unto your children, Daddy Jesus. Spirit of the living God, we pray, Daddy Jesus, that you'll continue to do, Lord God Almighty, what no one else can do, Daddy Jesus. Here in your presence, Daddy God, it is Youth Sunday. Your word declares, Daddy Jesus, that you call upon them because they are strong, mighty God. Father God, I pray in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, that, oh God Almighty, you will give them knowledge this morning. For your word declares that we'll perish because of lack of knowledge. It is not in the singing this morning, Daddy Jesus. It is not, Lord God Almighty, in just saying hallelujah. But God Almighty, it is the life that we live Oh God Almighty, that will give you glory, Daddy Jesus. It is a life that we live, Lord God, that the Holy Spirit, Lord God, may encapture us, Daddy Jesus, and give us the power and the authority that we need over the enemy this morning. And so I please, Lord God Almighty, every soul, Daddy God, that is in this place this morning, under your mighty hands, Daddy Jesus. I declare by the word of God that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Lord God Almighty, the enemy, Lord God Almighty, is using things, Lord God, to let us, oh God Almighty, be distracted of what you are doing in our life, Daddy Jesus. But God Almighty, everything is not all right this morning, God. But we thank you for that which is going on well, Daddy Jesus. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you can get the victory in our circumstances this morning. Daddy Jesus, if we weren't sick, we didn't know that you are a healer, Lord God Almighty. And we can testify of your goodness, Daddy Jesus. We praise you, Lord God Almighty, that you are still showing up, Lord God Almighty, in the good times and in the bad times. We glorify you. For you are a wholesome God. You are interested, Lord God Almighty, in every property of our life, Daddy Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we thank you, Lord God, for the health and the strength and the life that you have given us to us this morning. And so, Lord God Almighty, I pray that you'll help us to use it to glorify you, Lord God, for you deserve all the praise. You deserve all the honor and you deserve the glory. All of it belongs to you, Daddy Jesus. So, Lord God Almighty, 
We come against every principalities and every powers. Lord God Almighty, that is against, Lord God, worship this morning. We ask of thee, Lord God, that every power will be submissive to your power this morning. We pray for deliverance, Daddy Jesus. The Lord God Almighty, everyone, Lord God, will be thankful for all that you're doing for us, Daddy Jesus. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh upon us this morning. For your word declares that signs must follow believers. Lord God Almighty, it is not enough, Daddy God, for this present day generation to tell them that God is good. But God Almighty, they want to see the fruit of your goodness, Daddy Jesus. And so, Lord God Almighty, help us, Daddy Jesus, all of us, mighty God, that you have done all things good and wonderful for us. Help us to testify of your goodness. Help us, Lord God Almighty, to declare your goodness, mighty God. So, God Almighty, that they may believe that you're still working, Daddy God. For God Almighty, you're working. You are working, Daddy Jesus. You're working, mighty God. But help us to be grateful, Daddy Jesus. Give us a heart of gratitude, mighty God, that we may lift up your name, Daddy Jesus, and give you thanks for all that you're doing. Father God Almighty, encircle us, Lord God Almighty, with your Holy Spirit right now, Daddy Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for those who are online right now. Spirit of the living God, we know, God, that there is no boundary with you, Daddy Jesus. And so we ask of thee, Lord God Almighty, that you'll find them anywhere they are this morning. Give life, Lord God Almighty, to a dead situation, Daddy Jesus. Oh God, give strength, Lord God Almighty, to those that are weak this morning. And God Almighty, cause your power to reign supremely. For you are awesome, Daddy Jesus. You are amazing, oh God Almighty. You are gracious and you are still a wonderful God. We give you all the praise, Daddy God, for that which is done already. We declare it done in the name of Jesus. We declare it done in the name of Jesus. We say it is well in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Daddy Jesus, for hearing and answering prayer. Cause us to believe, Lord God Almighty. For, Lord God, your word declares that faith is the substance of things not seen. But, God Almighty, we can trust you, Daddy Jesus. For you never tell a lie, nor will you deceive us, Daddy Jesus. So help us to trust you, even, Lord God Almighty, when we don't see the proof, mighty God. But, God Almighty, grant us the faith, Lord God. As if it even as a small as a mustard seed, we thank you for that faith, believing that the God, that oh God, it is well, it is well, it is well, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. At this time, Sister Shanika. Wee's Garden will be coming to bless our hearts with an item, followed by Brother Donald, who will be the, who will be leading us into worshiping, worship of giving. Put your hands together for Sister Shanika as she comes. Good morning, everyone. Let me hear worship the Lord. So this morning I can say like Sister Felisa, it's been a long while. And I am grateful for this opportunity because who the Lord loves, he traces it. Right? All right. <clears throat> there are things that I love and hold dear to my heart they are borrowed they are not mine at all jesus only let me use them to brighten my life so 
have I done to deserve God's own son? I'm not worthy of the scars in his hands. Yet he chose the road to Calvary to die in my place. Why he loves me, I can't understand. Just continue praising the Lord. Give the Lord a better praise than that. You are thanking him for reminding you of where it is that he has taken you from. While it is that you are sitting this morning, I won't bother you to ask you to stand. I am just here to do one thing, and it's just to encourage you to sow into the kingdom of the Lord. I will ask of us to get our best gift. I won't stress it to stress your neighbor this morning. Just get that best gift that you have for the Lord. And while it is that you are looking, I just want to, or searching for your gift somewhere that you would have tucked it. I just want to remind us that we give unto the Lord not because of what we are expecting from him, but because of us knowing very well that we are obligated to doing such. Amen. And in return, when you do what you're supposed to be doing, you find that things will work out accordingly. Amen. But Luke 11, 11 to 13 will remind us, uh, and I'll just use this analogy a bit, or the text. What father among you, if his son asks for a fish, will instead of a fish give him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, 
will give him a scorpion. If you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask of him? A little bit out of the money, but it is simply talking about what I said just now. Not giving God out of just what we have or us feeling as though we have to because the church is asking, but because it is our responsibility. Amen. Father, we thank you this morning for the seed in which you've allowed us to bring back into your house. We thank you, Lord, for the week in which you've brought us through and for the provisions that you've made. There was food on most of our tables. And if no food, there was something to drink. And even if there wasn't something to drink, Lord, you carried us through. And for that, we give you thanks. We give you praise for the strength uh, that you gave us also to be able to toil throughout the week, Lord, so that at the end of it, Lord, we can look forward to that which you have in store for us, whether it is physically, spiritually, emotionally, whatever it is. But Father, as we are back into your house this morning to give that which you've allowed us to be able to give back into the store baskets of the house of the kingdom this morning, we pray, Lord, that you will multiply that which we have to give. God, if it is finance, we pray that you will bring forth a hundred fold. God, if it is not finance that we have, we pray that as we offer our offerings of praise and sacrifices of worship, Lord, that you will in turn uh, be that God who will provide for your people to be able to give into the kingdom financially the next time around. We pray, Lord, that as we give, God, that the conquer worm, the palmer worm, the locust, the caterpillar, oh God, will not be able to eat up Lord God Almighty, that which you would have multiplied and will be given back to us. Father, inasmuch as we pray even for revival in our services, God, we pray this morning that as we give into your kingdom, knowing that we are obligated to doing so, we pray, Lord, that you will open the windows of heaven and that you will release upon us that which we need accordingly in the name of Jesus. Father, as your people sow, those who are un unemployed, we pray, God, that employment will come in the name of Jesus Christ God those who are already employed we pray God that as they give we're not looking for it God but we declare in it as children of God that we will see increase we decree and declare God that as we sow promotion will come our way in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth God those who have debts that need to be settled we pray that you God Almighty being the debtor settler uh, will settle all of that in the name of Jesus Christ Father for those who are sowing in advance, God Almighty, for even lands. We pray, Lord God Almighty, that you will call for, you will cause forth lands uh, to become available, Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, God, that just as we know that the wealth of, wealth of the wicked uh, is laid up for the just, that God, you will release in our store baskets this morning and over our children education across all levels where they are needed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that as we sow this morning, God, that sicknesses uh, will be dried up from the bodies from the very root in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So God, even now, as be, uh, even though the intercessory prayer has already been done, but we speak to sickness from the root and as we sow, we call them to dry up. Even now, in the name of Jesus Christ, sicknesses of hypertension, of diabetes, of cancer, uh, issues with the fallopian tubes, we call them to be, uh, to be normalized in in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, as we sow in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord God Almighty, that those who are seeking uh, employment in foreign countries, God, that you will cause even those to come in alignment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we pray, Lord, that as we continue to give, that you will allow us indeed to become the lenders and not so much become dependents of uh, seeking from others. So, Lord, we look to you by faith even now, and we ask of you to do the multiplication, which we can't understand, as we give you glory, as we give you praise, and we give you all honor. In Jesus' name, amen. It is Youth Sunday. Is there another basket? It, sorry, I never asked permission. I never planned for it. Is there another basket? It is Youth Sunday. We know that camps are coming up. The VBS will also be coming up in August. And it makes no sense for us to be reactive during the time. 
And as a result of that, we also want to be quite proactive. You may or may not have an extra with you this morning. It can be $50, it can be $20, it can be $100. If you are blessed and you have $1,000 and you want to give it, I will be standing. I am not the youth president, neither am I on the board. But I will be standing right beside this flower here. Is it flowers? Whatever the decoration is. And if you have something extra that you can give towards the youth department, I'll stand in proxy and just collect that in this bucket and hand it over to the ministry thereafter. Is, there, is everyone understanding that? And I'll ask of you just to follow the instruction of the, of the ushers. If we recognize we come from, let me is what is, we come from the left, from the right, come around, you give your gift here, and you exit in the other aisle. Amen? So we just follow that procedure, and the praise team will come to lead us in worship at this time. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, let me tell you about the power of this God. He has healed the sick, he has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, what a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, can I tell you about the power of this God? He has healed the sick, he has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, what a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, let me tell you about the power of this God. Oh, he has healed the sick, he has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, what a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, can I tell you about the power of this God? Oh, he has healed the sick, he has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, say what a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, can I tell you about the power of this God? Oh, he has healed the sick, he has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. I need a complete quench in love. Oh, not just my hands and feet. Not only my hands, Lord. Not only my feet. Not only my hands, Lord. I need a complete cleansing love, not just my hands and feet, not only my hands, Lord, not only my feet, not only my hands, Lord, not only my feet. Oh, what a God, what a God, what a God, who oh, can I tell you about the power of this God? Oh, he has healed the sick. He has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, what a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, can I tell you about the power of this man? Oh, he has healed the sick. He has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, say what a God, what a God, what a God. About the power of this man, oh, he has healed the sick, he has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God! Oh, keep it true, Lord Jesus, keep it true, keep it true, Lord Jesus, keep it true. He has healed the sick, he has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, say what a God, what a God, what a God. Who oh, can I tell you about the power of this man? He has healed the sick, he has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Say 
what a God, what a God, what a God. Who can I tell you about the power of this man? He has healed the sick, he has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, what a God, what a God, what a God. Who can I tell you about the power of this man? He has healed the sick. He has raised the dead. What's a God? 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 Who can I tell you about the power of this man? He has healed the sick. He has raised the dead. What's a God? What's a God? What's a God? Complete in love, oh, not just my head, selfie. Not only my hands go, not only my feet. Not only my head go, not only my feet. I need a complete cleanse in love, oh, not just my head, selfie. Not only my hands go, not only my feet. Not only my hands go, not only my feet. I need a complete cleansing love. Oh, not just my hands and feet. Not only my hands go, not only my feet. Not only my hands go, not only my feet. God, what a God, what a God. Who oh, can I tell you about the power of this man? Oh, he has healed the sick, he has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, what a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, can I tell you about the power of this man? He has healed the sick, he has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, what a God, what a God, what a God. for all those who took part in today's service. At this time, the youth choir will be rendering and ministering to your hearts. I ask that we put our hands together and right after the youth choir minister, Reverend Nicholas Dixon will be taking his place. So many times I've questioned certain circumstances of things I could not understand. Mm -hmm. Many times in trials, weakness blurs my vision and my frustration gets so out of hand. And it's then I am reminded I've never been forsaken. I never had to stand on test alone. And as I look at all my victories and the spirit rises up within me, 
and it's through the fire my witness is made it's made strong oh he never promised that the cross would not Surely perish, but if I trust in the mighty hand of God, you seal the flame again, again. He never promised that the cross would not get heavy, and the Lord would not be to fly. No, He never. Hallelujah. 
Somebody lift your hands and worship the Lord. Somebody lift your hands and worship the King of Kings and the Lord. Lord in the house. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. Thank you very much, Youth Choir, for that reminder. He never promised that the cross would not get heavy and the hills will not be hard to climb. Do I have any witness in the house? He never offer a victory without fighting. But one thing for sure, he says, help, help, help. help. Somebody say, help is on the way. Somebody say, help is on the way. Even in the fire, he will show up right on time. Even in the fire, he will show up right on time. Somebody clap your hands for victory in the house of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. We serve a wonderful, great mighty God. It's good to be in the house of the Lord another Sunday to give him glory, honor, and praise. It is not the good that I have done, but all because of his favor and his mercy in my life. Amen, somebody. I concur with the songwriter, if it had not been for the Lord on my side. I don't know about you, but if it had not been for God, I've been through many battles before, but I can say, but God, but God, you don't understand. God is indeed worthy to be praised. Let me take this opportunity to greet our morning's moderator, in the name of Jesus. Put hands together for her. Job well done, lady moderator. Let me greet the musician, the praise and worship, the choir, the officers, and the leaders of this blessed church of God. All of you wonderful saints of God, I greet you well. It's good to be a part of Hartford New Testament Church of God. It's good to be pastoring this church. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. We give God thanks. It, it, it is... Let me also greet those who are joining us in media land. You are online this morning. We give God thanks for you. You could have been tuning elsewhere, but you are here with us. And we hope that even before the end of the service, if you have not yet received a word or a blessing from the Lord, it is not too late and you will receive it today in Jesus' name. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Just, just um, to say, oh, only me and the boys are here this morning. Sister Dixon, I think she's in Petersfield this morning in the capacity of the district ladies director, president. She's visiting that church, the ladies Sunday over there this morning. And we are without the ladies in our lives. But we give God thanks. Amen, somebody. Um, let me use this, this pastor privilege to, to um, say a big thank you to all those who came out to support our hymn cert Sunday evening. And if you were not here, you miss a wonderful night. If, if you were not here Sunday evening, you miss something. You miss something. You miss something. And, and also, Friday evening, gone, the men, they, I know the ladies, that they, they, are, they are full speed ahead, but the men are trying a little thing. And, and so, Friday evening, we, we had um, jerk, chicken, and pork festival outside selling. We give God thanks for you. But we, we continue the selling this Friday evening as well. And if you buy one, one quart last week, you can buy two this week. Amen, somebody. And the next week, you can buy three. So you can, stay, you can start safe for the family. It can become your Friday evening family dinner for now until rally. Amen, somebody. We are trying our best. I, I know the ladies double the men, but we are trying our best. So, so Sister Vassar, I might ask you for a little thing. Well, Sister Dixon, I might have to ask her as well. So, so um, 
Yes, Sister Weez, I might have to ask her for a little thing as well to make up for the men. But the truth is, we, 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 we are in, in full gear for rally. I'm going to preach. But we have some work to be completed on the bathrooms and the kitchen. So we want to make sure that we are going all out for rally. And for those who are joining us online, that there are some persons, some family members that you are online. I, I don't send any texts as yet, but, but um, this is only one time of the year I normally beg. It is for rally. So, so if you are online, even, even if you are a lady, your pastor is begging you something. You, 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 can, you, you, can, you, you can put, put your name in the chat and your number, and I will get it and, and link you up. Uh, and you can take my, my, my name as well, my number, and link me up. But your pastor is begging you something. We want to make sure that we are going, as them boys I road would say, go hard or go home. Go hard or go home. In Jesus' name. Amen, somebody. A few church, a few Billy. Amen. It's, it's good to see Sister Green with us this morning. We give God thanks for his healing hands in our life. It's good to have Brother Blake with us. We know the situation with, with, with Sister Blake, that they are most of the time outside preaching the gospel. I, I must say, Sister Turner also is sharing the word today at Hoban Bible Church in South. We want to pray for her even at this time. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Um, from, from uh, last week, I, I woke up Tuesday morning feeling, feeling some pain, some discomfort in, in both, both the ties. And, and as, as the week progressed, it, 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 it heals up a little bit. And, and for some unknown reason, this morning I woke up in extreme pain. I don't know what is causing it down the hip, especially the right side of the hip. But if you pray for me, I get through the preaching today. Amen, somebody. When I was playing football, I, 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 I play in worse pain than this. I remember one time I, I was playing a game the Monday, and they had, to, they had to take me to the hospital after the game. And everybody thought my, 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 my leg was broken. And the Thursday, I was on it playing again. So I, I, the mic wants to backslide on me. I, I know what it feels like to play in pain, so I'll preach in pain. But I said, if you pray for me, I will get there. It's good to see Deacon Barrett in the house. The, the devil is after him. But we are praying for you, sir. And, 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 and when the devil is fighting, it tells me that something is around the corner. Something is around the corner. Something is around the corner. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. We give God thanks. There are a few persons that send some requests to be prayed for. We do so after. But from the passage of scripture that was read, Hebrews chapter 11, for those who are just joining us this morning. Hallelujah. You, you, you may be seated. I know it's a tradition to stand for the reading of God's holy word. It's your tradition. And, um, the, um, Hebrews 11, 1 to 3, and I'll go, go over it again. I am comfortable again with the reading for the devotion that was done. But it says, Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report or a good testimony. Verse 3, by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of the things which are visible. Let the words of my mouth, meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor like you mean your neighbor well this morning and say, neighbor, you don't have to see it 
to believe it. You don't have to see it to believe it. You don't have to see it to believe it. Oftentimes, I've heard preachers preach this text, and especially the word no faith, and they would have um, reckoned it to mean immediately no. So hopefully, I'll do some justice to this text this morning. I could just preach from verse 1 alone today. You don't have to see it to believe it. Notice the first word in verse 1. The word no. It's a very small word, but yet it is significant. If it were not so, it would not be there. Let us examine the word no. And I'll be using a few Greek words this morning, so let me take my time before I, 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 I get to work. The Greek word for the word no is pronounced as de. And this word serves as a marker of a summary statement. Simply put, what follows the word no summarizes what just stated before it. In other words, you will not fully understand what comes after the word no unless you fully understand what proceeds the word no. What proceed the summary statement? What comes before the no? What came before the day of our text? If we were to put into context, we would notice that the author of Hebrews goes through a great length in the first 10 chapters of this book to describe the superiority of Christ. You see many of the Jewish believers of that day having stepped out of Judaism into Christianity were on both sides of the fence. Some wanted to reverse their course in order to escape persecutions. In other words, they wanted to backslide. They wanted to go back into their former life. And so in the first 10 chapters, the writer of Hebrews exhorts them to press on to maturity in Christ. His appeal is based on the superiority of Christ over the Judaic system. The writer of Hebrew points out to his readers that Christ is better than the angels, for the angels they worship Almighty God. Christ is better than the Aaronic priesthood, for his sacrifice was once for all time. Christ is better than the law, for he mediates a better covenant. In short, the author tells his readers that there is more to be gained suffering for Christ than by reverting to Judaism. In particular, he encourages them to press on and reminds them in verse 38 of chapter 10, the just shall live by faith. I think it is important for us to also understand the lack of interest and apostasy are still real in society today. Yes, it is true you may not be on the verge of reverting to Judaism, but some of us are on the verge of reverting back to our old-time ways. Hence why it is important for us to be encouraged to keep the faith. Let us examine the text. There are three things I want to raise from the text very quickly. According to chapter verse 1 of the text, in order for us to believe what we don't see, you must have confidence in the unproved. Confidence in the unproved. Substance of things hoped for. What is faith? The scripture tells us in verse 1 that faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. And so faith, my brothers and sisters, in the Greek is pistis, which means assurance, assure, assuredly believe, believe, believers. It is also important for us to understand that this Greek word pistis is derived from the Greek word pitho 
which means persuasion, credence, I'm coming up, bear with me, moral conviction of religious truth or the truthfulness of God or of religious, especially reliance upon Christ for salvation. So what is faith? I think it is safe to say from this that faith is the assurance, faith is the belief, faith is the persuasion, the credence, the confidence, the moral conviction of truthfulness of God's promise, especially as it relates to the reliance of Christ for salvation. Can I say to somebody that the essential characteristic of faith is that it deals with things future and things unseen. Can I say that again? The essential characteristic of faith is that it deals with things future and things unseen. So this morning, the question is, where is your faith? Now, faith is a substance of things hoped for. And the Greek word for substance is upotastis. And it is derived from the compound of two Greek words. I'm coming up somebody. The first word is upo. And the second word is upa. Which means under or beneath. And, and, and uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, under or beneath. Uh, or istami, which means to stand, uh, to abide, to appoint, uh, to bring covenant, to establish, to hold up, to lay, to set to stand by foot still stand up so what am I saying I am saying that the word substance found in our text have nothing to do with what most prosperity prosperity preachers uh, are talking about today uh, because my brothers and sisters uh, contrary to the popular belief uh, this is not a name it and claim it passage I might mash up somebody's theology today, but that's all right. So it is not just to name something because you have faith and it happens. No, my brothers and sisters. So, so claim the thousand dollars by faith. Claim a million dollars by faith. This is not what the passage is saying. My brothers and sisters, the word substance in context. My brothers and sisters, it is simply saying it is the foundation upon where I place my faith. Uh, literally it stands up under and indicates what support uh, or is setting uh, under something uh, being it a building, a contract or a promise. Uh, so faith is the foundation uh, of what holds up a Christian uh, just like how a foundation holds up a house. Uh, what is faith? Faith uh, is the assurance or should I say confidence of my salvation uh, and where does this confidence come from? Uh, well, my confidence comes from uh, my foundation. Uh, and my foundation uh, is Jesus Christ. Uh, he is my high priest. Uh, he is my rock. Uh, Jesus Christ is my salvation. He is my trust. Uh, so faith is expressed uh, in the spiritual realm. Uh, each of us, church of God, uh, regardless of our backgrounds, uh, our education, our social status, uh, or our talents uh, can express faith. Uh, the difference between the faith we exercise uh, in our daily routine uh, and our religious faith uh, is the object of that faith. Uh, again, everyone places their faith uh, in something or someone. Uh, the Muslim puts his faith uh, in the Quran uh, and in Muhammad. Uh, the humanist puts his faith in himself. Uh, the followers of religion uh, in his own good works. Uh, but none of these can save uh, because in each of the objects, uh, the case, the object is the wrong faith. Uh, your faith is only as good uh, as the object in which you place your faith. Uh, and the Bible insists uh, that we personally put our faith uh, and our trust uh, in Jesus Christ. Uh, Acts 4 verse 12 says, uh, nor is there salvation in any other for there is no other name under heaven uh, 
given among men by which we must be saved. I am a firm believer that the reason so many people in society are filled with despair because they do not have true understanding of what fate is. I believe that people often find themselves perplexed and troubled because they have placed their faith in the wrong things and the very foundation of their faith are not stable. It is unsure. Some people place their faith in friends some people place their faith in families some people place their faith in occupations or their abilities but the question this morning will faith in these things deliver you in times of trouble you see I am a firm believer that there is going to come a time when your faith will be tested it is said that a faith Faith, not tested is a faith that you cannot trust. Can I say to somebody, when this test comes, it doesn't matter what somebody else is doing on that day when you are tested, if you are not standing in Jesus Christ, your faith will be tried. I need to tell somebody this morning that man will feel, woman will feel, family will feel your finances will feel your occupation will feel your status will fail your riches will fail I need to let somebody know that faith in Jesus Christ is sufficient to uphold us through life crisis so my substance my foundation my object it is in Jesus Christ so faith is the foundation uh, that I place in Jesus uh, no matter what comes my way uh, as long as I have Jesus uh, I can say it is alright uh, no matter what storm cloud rise uh, as long as my faith uh, is in Jesus Christ uh, I can say it is alright uh, Somebody pray for me. When I have Jesus, when the contrary winds are blowing, when the billows of life seems to be raging, I encourage somebody to put your faith in Jesus because he will see you through. It is the songwriter that penned the words of the song. My hope is built on nothing less but Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame only to live on Jesus name somebody say on Christ touch your neighbor say neighbor on Christ on Christ on Christ the solid rock I stand all other ground is sinking sand all other ground is sinking sand. Not only must we have confidence in the unproved, but there must be conviction in the unseen. There must be conviction in the unseen. The evidence of things not seen. Evidence in the Greek is elenkos, which simply means a proof that by which a thing is proved or tested, a conviction. And so, biblical writers often found of, fond of saying the same thing twice. So the author here uses some very similar language, but with some interesting extensions of his original meaning. He uses a word here that means conviction or persuasion based on evidence. But the word also carries a connotation of a response based on certainty. It means an outward manifestation of an inward conviction. This is encouraging the, the, the people of Hebrew to them to act 
on their faith uh, that they have. It means uh, for them to go and do uh, what they were supposed to do, uh, even if they believe that it will uh, or could worsen their situation. Uh, it means that they are convinced uh, that God will be sufficient uh, to the point that they can leap uh, over the cliff knowing uh, that God will build a bridge or put up uh, a net even though they can't see it. Uh, this is a picture, my brothers and sisters, uh, of authentic overcoming faith. Uh, and this is what the Hebrews needed. Uh, they needed the power to act uh, in the face of certain suffering. And thank God. We have a mathematician in the house. Congratulations, Mr. Mathematician. But in the science of mathematics, many of our greatest formulas are based upon mathematical substantiations, which are called proofs. It is only by working step by step through the proof that you know if the formula is correct. Right, Novino? Praise the Lord. My brothers and sisters, what am I saying? You cannot see it by just looking at it. It is that true. You must prove it by yourself. So it is with faith. It is the method of proving the things not seen. It is in the inward conviction of proving of God what he has promised he will perform. Living by faith in the promises of God gives one the evidence, uh, the verification of proof uh, he or she needs to place uh, validity on the weight uh, of life promises. I'm coming up somebody. Uh, can I say to somebody uh, this morning uh, that eyesight produces a conviction uh, or a proof about objects uh, in the physical world. Uh, but faith produced that same conviction uh, for the invisible order. Uh, faith shows itself to us uh, by producing the assurance uh, that what we hope for, uh, it will happen. Uh, but faith is only as true uh, as the reality of the object of our. Uh, thus, we must have God's inner conviction uh, and guidance uh, that what we hope for uh, is true. What am I saying? church of God. I was not there when God formed the foundations of this world as we know it. However, the foundation of my faith tells me that God spoke and out of darkness it came light. The foundation of my faith tells me I don't have to see it to believe it. I was not there when Joshua marched around Jericho for seven times for seven days. But my faith tells me that the walls came tumbling down. You know Job, a man I've never met, but I am sure it was faith, his foundation, it was his assurance, his belief in God that make him say in Job 14 verse 14, all my days of my appointed time, I will wait uh, until my change come. Uh, I feel my helper coming. Uh, somebody still pray for me. Uh, no church of God. Uh, I was not there uh, when Job was being tested. Uh, but my faith tells me uh, it was the foundation uh, of his faith uh, that caused him to say, uh, Though he slay me, uh, yet will I trust him. Uh, I never met the psalmist uh, that the words uh, of Psalm 30 uh, but I am sure uh, it was the foundation of his faith uh, that caused him to declare uh, that weeping uh, may endure for a night uh, but joy is coming uh, I never met a leper and I never met the woman who had an issue of blood for 12 years yet my faith in God's word tells me that the same God that healed Simon the leper is the same God that healed the woman with an issue of blood and the same God can heal you and I I my brothers and sisters it was grace chillers 
that penned the words of this song and never saw the cross he carried up to Calvary's hill and never saw the precious blood that my savior spilled and never heard the mob that cry oh let him be crucify and never saw it but I believe church of God I believe it was for me he died you don't have to see it to believe it you don't have to see to believe that you are coming out you don't have to see to believe that God is still working you don't have to see it to believe the evidence I am convinced I am convinced that he is still working for me I am convinced that no matter what comes my way my God he is still working it out for me You don't have to see it to believe it. We must have confidence in the unproved. Conviction in the unseen. And finally, you must be connected to the undiluted word. You must be connected to the undiluted word of God. Marketers try to convince people that if you use their product, you will live longer, look better, have more money, and be more popular. Does the Bible tell us how we are to market Christianity? Does Jesus promise health and wealth and popularity? Is prosperity preaching wrong or right? Some persons all they preach is prosperity the truth is church of God there's a lot of good news in the good news what am I talking there's a lot of good news in the gospel there's a lot of good news in the good news there are many blessings but Jesus also says take up your cross and follow me Jesus also says deny yourself daily we don't hear that very often Jesus said the real key to happiness is to put God and others first. Today, however, it is all about putting me first. It is all about me, myself and I. A lot of people hear this diluted version of the gospel and believe it is good medicine. But can I tell somebody, the gospel is not just about prosperity. The gospel is not just about a fact bank account. The gospel is not just about the blessings of God. My brothers and sisters, if you look at the lives of the disciples, they had rough times. They had bad times. If you look at Paul's experience, you can see that in this life we are going to have trials. We are going to have struggles. Church of God, if you look at the storms, you will surely see the rain. What am I saying? If you look at your situation, you may not be able to see what God has in store for you. If you look at your circumstances, you may not be able to see beyond the trials and tribulation. This is why we are admonished to walk by faith and not by sight. 
in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 I'm here to tell somebody that eyes have not seen nor ears heard neither have entered the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him church of God the elders of the church according to verse 2 and 3 of the text the elders of the church had no problem believing what they could not see in fact they realized that the little they had had come by faith they realized that the little progress they had made had come by faith they knew that they had come too far to turn around they also knew that God had not failed them in the past and surely surely he would not fail them now they found themselves in the midst of their trouble singing we have come this far by faith uh, leaning on uh, the Lord uh, trusting uh, in his holy word uh, he never fail us yet uh, I can't turn around uh, church of God uh, we have come this far uh, by faith uh, you can't turn around uh, I need to let somebody know uh, stand 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 uh, when trouble rise uh, stand Stand uh, when the contrary wind blows. Uh, stand uh, when family or friends forsake you. Uh, stand uh, when the enemy comes in like a flood. Uh, faith, faith uh, can lead you to believe uh, that God uh, will rise up a standard uh, against him. Might as well. I stop lecture and start preaching now. Somebody prayed for me. I feel it. When trouble seems more than you can be a church of God. Say faith says count it all joy. When you fall into diverse temptation. When everyone and everything tends to come up against you. I hear faith. I hear faith through the word. No weapon that form against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against me shall be condemned. It is time, church of God, we look at the devil and tell the devil, you may have a talk but I am still standing it is time we tell our troubles you may come for a season but I am still standing somebody tell your storms you have blown some fierce wind my way you have caused some disruption but I am still standing somebody tell your mountain you may have delayed my progress but I am still standing I stop by to tell somebody the report believe believe the report of the Lord the devil may have all told you what happened the last time somebody tried what you are about to do I'm going to preach in here today till the devil is mad I'm going to preach even on one leg I am going to preach somebody my brothers and sisters the devil might put doubt in your mind but tell that old rascal you may have tried to threaten me about what would happen if I tried it but I stand in agreement with you today believing that you can put your foot on his neck look down at the devil and say to him by faith even though I don't see it I believe it is going to happen believe and see we thank you for giving us a measure of faith Lord God you told us that if we would have faith the size of a mustard seed just a little faith we could speak to our mountain we could speak to our situation we could speak to our troubles we can speak to the devil 
and say devil 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 it is time i feel might as well stop lecture and start preach you said we can talk to our mountains and say mountain get out of my way i come to tell you i command you satan in the name of the lord to drop your weapon and flee for the lord has given me authority to walk over you authority to overcome authority to have the victory authority to demand that you flee flee church of god faith faith in the word tells me that faith commit by hearing and hearing somebody talk to me and hearing by the word of God the word of God tells me yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for the water with me the rod and thy staff they comfort me the word tells me the Lord is my light and my salvation the Lord is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked even my enemies come upon me to heat up my flesh they stumble and they fall the word tells me he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty the word tells me in isaiah yeah 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 isaiah 43 but now thus said the lord he that created thee O israel he that formed thee O jacob fear not fear not when thou walkest through the waters I will be with thee and through the rivers it shall not overflow thee oh lord god somebody somebody faith 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 in god can move a mighty mountain faith in god can calm the troubled sea faith in god can make a desert like a fountain faith faith can give us the victory church of god you don't have to see it to believe it and because i don't have to see it i believe in the word i am connected in the word and the word tells me nothing good really withhold from them that walk righteous the word tells me if god is for us tell me tell me who can be against us the word tells me church of god in times of trouble let not i say let not i say let not let not your heart be troubled the word tells me fret not thyself i feel like preaching somebody the word tells me by faith fret not thyself of evil doers all the evil them I work it can't stop me all the try them I try it can't stop me all the world down them I try it can't stop me everything they try every blue they send it can't stop me Lord God bring to your powder you can't stop me try everything you want you can't stop me 
I must conquer. I am more than a conqueror. If I'm doing a business, it must prosper because the word tells me whatsoever the righteous do it, he shall prosper. I'm going to be like a tree planted by the rivers. Church of God, you might not like me, but the word said God is with me. And as long as God is on my side, no weapon, I said no weapon, no weapon that form against me, it can prosper. I come to tell somebody, I caught your feet, I caught your feet, remove doubt, remove doubt, remove doubt. Faith, faith and fear can't work in the same statement. Lord God, can I talk to somebody? Faith and fear cannot work in the same statement. You can't have faith in God, but you fear man. Can I talk to Hartford? You can't have faith in God, but you fear man. Man, man, man. I don't care how mighty you might look. You might look like a giant. You might tall like Goliath. But giants, the bigger they come, the harder they fall. If you are a Goliath, there's a David in me. There's a David in me. I might look small, but faith, faith said, I am David. I hear this 12 spy after the Lord sent them up to spy out the land. I heard 10 of them came back with the report and said, We are like grasshoppers. Yes, the land, it is fruitful. Yes, the land, it is bearing fruit. But also, when I look over the land, I see, I see, I see some giants over there. Yes, I see the promise, but there are some enemies. I hear Joshua, I hear Caleb, say they might be giant over the land. Say, neighbor, neighbor, you might have giant. Come on, talk to your neighbor. You might have giant, but I have God. You might have giant, but I have God. I hear Caleb, I hear Joshua, say, Lord God, giants over there but i am going over there might be some itaita there might be some enemy there might be some stronghold but as long as i have the lord that's all right that's all right it is all right it is all right as long as i have the lord beside me it is all right as long as i have his hands to hold as long as he watches over my soul it is all right i don't have to see it to believe it because i am walking by faith and not by sight sight tells me giant over there but faith says go conquer lord god sight tells me you can't come out at this sickness but faith somebody pray for me i feel like preaching but faith says he was wounded for my transgression he was bruised for my iniquities the chastisement of my peace is upon him by his stripes by his stripes healing must come sight 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 tells me that nothing nothing good now go happen to you holy ghost help me but fate tells me nothing good will he uphold from them that walk righteous sight my says 
people bad mind you uh, sight might say to you uh, that you can't manage them uh, but fate uh, uh, a thousand uh, shall fall uh, at thy side uh, and i shall put uh, uh, ten thousand uh, to fly church of god uh, activate the theater uh, i need somebody uh, in hartford uh, to activate uh, uh, activate the theater Activate the theater for too long. We sit down. Church of God. I might not see it yet, but I still believe. Even when I don't see it, he is still working. Even when I don't feel it, he is still working. He never stop. He never stop working. Somebody, I come to tell you, it is time to tell the devil 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 you hold me down for too long a lord god i cry last night i cry yesterday but i am coming out i am coming out how do i know i am coming out i don't know when i am coming out i don't know where i am coming out but i know i am coming out somebody you don't understand lord god i have been battling depression i've been battling some attack but i coming out you're coming out say neighbor neighbor believe it believe it whose report will you believe I believe uh, the report uh, of the Lord. Uh, we are coming out. Uh, Church of God. Uh, we are going up. Uh, we are going up. Uh, we are going up. Uh, we are going up to conquer. Uh, say don't talk. Don't talk. Uh, don't talk defeat. Uh, I am not defeated. Uh, I am a warrior. Uh, I am a warrior. Uh, Church of God. Uh, you are coming out. Uh, you might not see it uh, but things uh, already better. Uh, things already better. Uh, Church of God. Uh, do I have uh, five persons uh, who believe the report? Uh, just shout hallelujah. Uh, just shout hallelujah. Uh, just shout victory. Uh, shout victory somebody uh, somebody shout victory uh, somebody shout victory i am coming out uh, it is full time uh, neighbor neighbor uh, neighbor uh, neighbor neighbor uh, this is the last night uh, i am crying uh, over that man uh, this is the last night uh, i am losing sleep uh, over that man uh, this is the last night uh, i am stop uh, a stop a stop uh, i am going to heat uh, i am going to sleep uh, because fate uh, fate says uh, if god remove him uh, there's somebody better uh, church of god uh, you might be uh, in the fight of your life uh, but fear it, fear it. Uh, Jesus says, uh, if you are faith uh, like a mustard seed, uh, you can say uh, to this mountain, uh, be thou gone. Uh, in other words, uh, mustard seed, uh, it is small. Uh, so your faith start out small. Uh, the mountain is taller than you. Uh, but because you are faith, uh, you see the mountain. Uh, as more whole church of god because my god is bigger than this my god is bigger than the mountain my god is bigger than the valley i am in now my god is bigger than my failures church of god you might be a failure in the past uh, but you are coming out uh, you might be a nobody uh, but i come to tell somebody uh, you are still somebody uh, god said to tell you uh, you are stuck here uh, you are not at the place uh, that you ought to be uh, but this morning uh, exercise your faith uh, faith says uh, i am walking I am walking uh, step by step. Uh, I walk out of Babylon uh, step by step. Uh, I am leaving my problem uh, step by step. Uh, 
I am declaring victory step by step I am saying mountain mountain be thou gone step by step I have no desire church of God like Paul I forget those things which are behind I am moving forward say forward 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 I have ambition this morning I came to church I felt lonely I did not feel like I want to make it but because ambition ambition I birth ambition somebody in Hartford is time to come out it's time it is time you have been camping at that same spot for too long you have been camping out at that same level for too long it is time to go to the next level faith 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 in God I am moving I am moving I won't stop I won't stop say neighbor 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 either you come with me or you give me pass say the Lord God say neighbor either you come with me or you give me pass but this time I am not stand still in for nobody at all either you come and move out my way move out my way I am climbing climbing me climbing moving me moving moving up the narrow way I might lose some friend I might lose some weight I got to back off my jacket but I don't care what it takes I am going up I am going up I am going up how do I know I am going up I have Jesus I have Jesus he stand beside me he stand behind me he stand in front of me he's all over me and he's keeping me alive Can I tell you about the disciples? Oh Lord God, I soon stop, I soon stop, I soon stop. The disciples were on the boat in the storm. And Lord God, the storm, the wind, it was contrary. It was contrary. In other words, they are rowing south. The wind was blowing east, west, and north. It was blowing every direction apart from the direction that they were going into. But Lord God, somebody, you are in a storm this morning. But you are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. You have been in the storm. And the storm, it seems like it will never end. Somebody, Lord God, I feel my head. I feel the anointing. I feel the Holy Ghost. Can I preach? Beg you five more minutes. Beg you five more minutes. You are in a storm. And the storm, it seems like days uh, turn into months uh, months into weeks uh, weeks into years uh, years into decade uh, it seems like uh, there's no out uh, you tried every source uh, and every source uh, seems to get blocked uh, the sources uh, that used to help you uh, they are now dried up uh, we have some people I have a deacon. I used to have a deacon in St. Vincent. She has some name in her phone that she saved. Don't answer this one. Don't take this call. Fulfill this. Lord God, have you ever been there? 
every source you try they used to help you but now you call them they are not answering you now you check them they don't have it you tried every source and every source seemed dry up now you are saying Lord God where am I you are in the middle of the storm like the disciples you can't go forward because the wind blew contrary you can't go back because you are in the middle of nowhere I think it is Glacier Robinson that says to be caught in the middle of an ocean you got no place to lay your head have you ever been there at Ford you can't go east you can't go west you can't go north you can't go south because everywhere you turn problem every source you turn to storm cloud I come to tell somebody you tried everything and everything fear and you are on the verge of giving up because every news you get every good news seems to be bad news can I preach in Hartford have you ever been there every news you get seems to be bad news like Job I was talking there comes another bad news from one bad news to bad news to worse news to worse news to news I can't take anymore have you ever been there you hear the phone ring and all you can think about what next but I come to tell somebody you might be in the middle of your storm but I said look 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 I said look I said look it is not ghost it is not God I said look church of God look look there's somebody walking and the water is coming to you it's coming to you but because nobody seems to be helping you you think it is a ghost the disciples Lord God somebody pray for me no man the disciples when they saw Jesus coming on the sea they all thought it was a ghost but I come to tell somebody it is not a ghost the next phone call you get is about to change your status the next job interview you are going on is about to change your status the next person that walk up to you is about to change your status they said it's a ghost but I heard the Bible tells me that Jesus he went up to them and said it is I it is I coming down I hear Peter said Lord if it is I then bids me bids me to come I hear Jesus say it is I Peter come can I tell her for Peter never walk on the water you're not talking to me Peter never walk on the water Peter walk on the word Peter walk on the word because Jesus said the word said come 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 it was the word in the beginning was the word and the word became flesh and the word uh, dwell among men uh, Jesus said Peter come 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 uh, Peter walk out on the word uh, I come to deliver uh, a word to somebody uh, release I uh, hear release uh, I hear release in my spirit uh, I hear release I uh, hear release uh, somebody say release uh, somebody say release uh, somebody say release uh, come 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 uh, release release uh, release release uh, Peter walk on the word as long as he was walking on the word he was walking on the water church of God stay connected to the word 
don't leave the word don't leave the word stay connected to the word You don't have to see it to believe it. Faith, 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 faith. Church of God, greater is he, greater is he, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. As I close, oh Lord God. Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians. You might be in the fight, but Second Corinthians 4, verse 8 to 9. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Stay in the race. Church of God. When darkness seems to hit his face, rest on his unchanging grace. In every high stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. When we are struggling through trials and pain, the precious promises of God are things that get us through. However, church of God, it's during these times that Satan's fiery darts of doubt comes and call those things into question. But you must maintain your confidence in God. You must believe that Jesus is who he says he is. And what do we say he will do? We must call to mind, church of God, the promises. Rebuke the doubt and stand firm. Clinging with our mighty hand. You don't have to see it to believe it. But we must keep looking for the answers prior. We must keep looking for the escape. We must keep looking for the Red Sea to part. We must keep looking for 185,000 Assyrians to wake up dead. We must keep looking for the rain to come, for the demons to leave. Church of God, as I close, hope, hope, hope is what should occur when a scripture points to a future reality of expectation. Hope is that directed anticipation that becomes a settled promise. Hope comes when a believer by faith lay hold of a promise of God and anticipates its fulfillment. Thus hope as a foundation and that foundation is what God has promised. The Old Testament saints found hope in God's word. There were people who had hope in life because of their faith. There were people of faith in God and his promises. Faith is what, church of God, that which gives assurance or confidence. It is hope for promises. Faith is to be solid foundation, stand with me, on which we stand while awaiting the fulfillment of God's word. Faith is the present representation of a future reality. I pray this morning that you have worship in faith like Abel. I pray this morning that you have walk in faith like Enoch. I pray this morning that you have a working faith like Noah. I pray this morning that you have a waiting faith like Abraham, like Sarah, like Caleb, 
and like Joseph. You don't have to see it to believe it. Faith in God can move that mountain. Where is your foundation? Is your foundation in material things? Or is your foundation in Jesus Christ the rock? You are here this morning. You are not saved. You are not standing on the right foundation. Can I pray with you right here? You are not saved. You are not standing on the right foundation. Can you meet me here? Let us pray with you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there one more this morning? Is there one more this morning? Is there one more this morning? Hallelujah. 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 You are not saved. You are not saved. You are not saved. Officers, don't let them come alone. Oh Lord God. Oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there one more in the house this morning? Before we pray, you are not saved. I want to pray for you. Will you come? Will you come? Hallelujah. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come to you again. Behalf of your people standing at this altar. Lord, you spoke a word to the people in Hebrews. Because their faith it was wavering. But this morning, you can speak a word in the minds of these, your people. Spirit of the living God, bid them one more time. Bid them one more time. Allow them to know by faith it can be made. It can be happened. It can happen. It can be done. It will be done. By faith this morning, we are claiming salvation. We are resting on the assurance that you can save and you will save. Forgive their trespasses. You are the forgiver of their sins. You are the forgiver when they are wrong. And so this morning, God, I place them in your care. I put them before you. Remove the heart of stone. Give them a heart of flesh, even at this moment. We pray for forgiveness in their lives. Your words declare, whom the sun set free, it's free indeed. Free your people even now. 
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Before you go, before you go, you have listened to the word. The fact that you are at this altar is an indication that the Spirit of the Lord is talking to you. Spirit of the Lord is talking to you this morning. He can fix anything that you are going through. He can fix any situation that you have. But you must give him that chance. Can I say, take your burdens to Jesus. Your burdens he'll bear. Tell him your sorrows. Your sorrows he'll share. He's waiting just to bless you with an outstretched hand. Tell him your sorrow. You are here this morning. You want to give your life to the Lord so you can make a brand new start. You want to place your faith. You want to place your faith, your object, your substance in Jesus Christ. Can I raise your right hand? If you are willing this morning, to walk with the Lord. To start a brand new life in Jesus. Can you raise your right hand? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God can fix it. God can fix it. Is there one another chance? One more time. Is there one at the altar? Oh Jesus, we thank you Lord. Oh thank you, we have one, we have one. We have one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give God thanks. Sister Louis, get the name. The rest of you, we thank you for coming. We invite you back next week. And we pray that the Lord will keep you. That you may come back next week. We pray. That the Lord may keep you. That you may come back next week. Because tomorrow is not promised. To any one of us. God bless you. Thank you for coming. God bless you. In Jesus name. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Sister Louis. Get the name and number. For this one for me. God bless you ma'am. God bless you. Talk to you after. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Are there are a few persons I want to pray for. I stand at the altar. Brother Dean and Sister Dean, can both of you come? In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Novino, can you come? Sister Moulton, can you come? Hallelujah. Sister Moulton, please come. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. Oh, excellent is your name in all the earth. The name that stands above every name. At the name of Jesus, demons are helpless. At the name of Jesus, hell stands at attention. 
At the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. So this morning we are coming with no other name. This morning we are unlocking some doors with the password. J-E-S-U-S. We are unlocking some sickness with the password. J-E-S-U-S. We are releasing some stuff this morning. With the password, Jesus, Jesus, uh, like blind Bartimaeus, Jesus, uh, thou son of David, uh, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Uh, Lord, this morning, uh, we are standing uh, because we have no other source. Uh, we have no other help but you, Lord God Almighty. Uh, and so this morning, God, uh, as I lay my hand upon your daughter, uh, we speak to pain. We speak to pain. We speak to pain. Pain in the legs. Pain in the body. Pain in the hands. Pain in the head. Pain in the back. Pain. Pain in the stomach. We speak to pain. We speak. We speak to pain. This morning, God, the nail scar hand, the hand that felt pain on the cross, the bruised hand, the wounded hand this morning, you are feeling the pain of this, your daughter. So right now, God, we pray that you will reach down your nail scar hand and touch, 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 touch. Touch God Almighty. Touch, touch. We declare and we decree healing. In the name of Jesus. Be healed from the pain. Heal Lord God. In the name of Jesus. We release, we release. We release, we release. That pain be gone right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, Father, as I place my hand upon your son, it is evident that your hand is in his life. Your favor is in his life. Oftentimes, we pray for people who are going through struggles and forget those who are gifted. But this morning, God, we place him in your care. God Almighty, keep him, keep him humble, keep him humble. Keep him humble, keep him humble. We pray that pride will stay down. Pride will stay down. And Lord, as he stay humble, you will lift him up. You will elevate him to higher heights and deeper depths. We come against every roadblock set up down the road by the enemy. We know that the enemy is mad. But this one belongs to you. This one is a soil straight from heaven. This one is a special son. This one, God Almighty, is marked for greatness. So devil, 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 you have no case here. Devil, you have no say here. Devil, you are a loser from the pit of hell. We continue, God Almighty, to declare purpose. We continue to declare greatness, greatness. In the name of Jesus, God Almighty, take him to places he has never been before. God, we pray that you will cover him, cover him, cover him, cover him, cover him, cover him, cover him. Hide him, hide him, hide him, hide him. Hide him, hide him, God Almighty. Hide him from the hands of the enemy. Hide him from the plotters. Hide him, Holy Ghost. Hide him in the name of Jesus. Every success. You will get the glory, God. Every success, the glory belongs to you. So, God Almighty, we pray that, Lord, as He continue to develop holistically, you will continue to keep your hand upon Him. Like Jabez, like Jabez. 
extend his territory and Lord keep your hand upon me that no evil cannot harm me so right now as you extend his borders keep your hand upon him that no evil no evil no evil somebody say move evil move evil move evil move evil move evil no evil cannot harm your son in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name father 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 God almighty the McLeans the McLeans the McLeans the McLeans the McLeans the McLeans this morning I place them before you the devil is after them the devil is steering mad the devil the devil is showing its ugly head but this morning God Almighty in order for you to bring revelation you must bring a situation so this morning God as I lay my hand upon the head of your servant you know his heart you know his desire Lord you know his steps your steps the steps of a righteous they are ordered by you so in reality God Almighty in order for the devil to step in their lives you have to remove yourself because the devil can't come in when you are there but Lord God your words declare that I will give you double for your trouble double for your trouble Lord God we know that you are a deliverer we know that you are a deliverer but also you are a sustainer so right now sustain this couple sustain them in the time of need sustain them in the time of going through sustain them before you deliver them God almighty show up for them in unusual ways you have done it in the past I believe they have come this far only because the evidence of your hands it is in their lives and so this morning God a place a place brother McLean Lenroy McLean by name Lenroy McLean needs your God favor 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 God Almighty Melissa McLean you know them by name you call them by name you call them by name and so this morning we release favor in their lives in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Sister Vassa, Sister Vassa, please come. Holy Ghost, 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 Father, as she's coming, we pray even now for Sister Elone Smith. We pray for this small family in Chiloni. God Almighty, we pray for Beverly, who had a, a mild stroke. We pray, God, that you, 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 you will heal your daughter. You have done it before. We pray that stroke will be gone. We pray for the small family. Favor, favor God Almighty in their lives. In the name of Jesus. God Almighty, we pray, I pray even now, God, that your hand, your hand, your hand will reach out, reach out to those online that requested prayer. Sister Cynthia's husband, God Almighty, we pray that you will remember Sister Johnson, Sister Brother Johnson in Chilani, Sister Cynthia, husband, remember him, remember Sister Peter, God Almighty, Sister Gail Blake, those who requested prayer online, remember, 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 remember them. God, 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 Lady Smith, we pray even now that whatever the cause, whatever the will, 
God Almighty, uh, as I place these passports uh, in my hand, uh, we pray for release. Uh, Lord God, as they are going to the embassy, uh, we send the blood of Jesus even now uh, before us at the embassy. Uh, and we release it in the name uh, of Jesus uh, because we ask uh, in no other name uh, but the name of Jesus. Any problem, any issue, uh, we declare favor, favor, uh, favor in the name of Jesus. God Almighty, uh, place your daughter. I don't know what it is, uh, but you know everything best. Uh, God, it doesn't have to be anything bad, but we just cover her under the blood and we declare you Lord over our situations. We declare you Lord in every situation. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. God, whatever it is, send a testimony of your faithfulness in your daughter's life. Just the blood, the blood of Jesus, huh? the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, huh? the blood of Jesus. Even now, huh? Sister Woods, huh? Sister Williams, huh? Sister Wellington, huh? Sister Keisha, huh? Sister V, huh? Brother Johnson, Sister Johnson, huh? Sister Brenda, huh? and her sons. Huh? Even now, God Almighty, uh, Sister Enid Brown, uh, even now, God Almighty, uh, Sister Berbetta Spence, uh, even now, God Almighty, uh, we place them in your hands uh, and we pray, God, uh, that you remember them in your mercies, uh, remember them in your love, uh, remember them in your keeping care, and we release. That the blessings of God will rest upon your people. We tell you thanks and we tell you praise in Jesus' name. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Shout in Jesus' name. Go, go. Go, go, go. Oh Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. 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 We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Somebody lift your hands and worship the Lord. Somebody lift your hands and worship the Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Before we close. Lest I get into trouble. Sister Stick, Sister Wood is, is, is away for a few, a few months. We give God thanks that he is still blessing his people. Even at that age, she can still take the plane. In Jesus' name. She called me yesterday and she said, Pastor, greet the church for me. And pray for me. Sister Woods, if you're watching online... Greetings, enjoy yourself in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And stand with me, everybody. Stand with me, everybody. We want to have Bible study this Wednesday evening, if weather permits, in Jesus' name. And as I said last week in the, in the group, that we'll be looking at benedictions for our study, benediction. There are few in the Bible. The person that can say is the most benediction Wednesday evening. We have something for you. In Jesus' name. We're we'll gonna have a wonderful time. Sister Jean is coming. We'll give her three minutes. And then we pronounce the benediction and go for Sunday school. Our youth, district youth director, Sister Jean is coming at this time. Church. Praise the Lord. I, I really needed to be here this morning. Um, Pastor, uh, while you were playing football last week, Saturday, sir, your church.